Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And we're backing off through the 30s this evening with cloudy skies, some drizzle, some light rain in the area, down to 37 by 11 o'clock, maybe even a little break in the precip by then, but still some of that rain and perhaps even a little snow mixing in overnight in our northern counties. Then through the day tomorrow, that rain will transition to snow from northwest to southeast across the region with temperatures into the mid 30s by 5 p.m. Our weather headlines calling for that rain tonight, mixing with some snow north later tonight, and then the rain to snow on Wednesday. And we we will see some accumulation. Much colder weather on the way by the time we get to the end of the week because of that potential for some snow and some icing conditions. Uh, Dark and Shelby, Auglaes, Mercer counties all under a winter weather advisory. Also the northern half of Indiana up in the southern Michigan and northwest Ohio if you have some travel plans. Heaviest amounts of snow will be up toward Fort Wayne to Toledo, four to five, maybe six inches, and then one to three inches north of I-70 up until you get to Mercer and Auglaes counties. Maybe some isolated four inch amounts in the far north and then generally south of interstate 70 an inch or less of snowfall anticipated lows tonight dropping into the mid 30s in our area with freezing temperatures northwest upper 30s midday tomorrow but falling afternoon temperatures and then look for the low temperatures Thursday morning all the way down to the low 20s so all of a sudden at the end of February we're going to get some winter weather we had a lot of road spray today on I-75 some drizzle some light rain falling out of the sky with cloudy skies on the Bryant Heat and cooling systems camera still tracking some of that light precipitation here in the Dayton area a little bit of a break to the west of us although we still could see some drizzle and then mostly some rain showers light rain showers in the northern part of our viewing area too back northwest we're seeing the snow really starting to break out now in northern Indiana southwestern Michigan up towards Chicago and as this low pressure center tracks east and northeast tonight we'll start to get in on the colder air and a better chance we see some of that snow eventually during the day tomorrow currently 40 north wind at 8 with a wind chill factor of 34 barometers on the rise Scott B Secker our weather checker in Bradford 37 and Hope Quilke in Bellbrook at 43 along with Barbara Richards in Kettering and rainfall totals so far about a half to three quarters of an inch over the past 24 hours here's the rain tonight as I mentioned, could be some snow farther to the northwest, and then we transition over to snow during the day tomorrow uh, with the potential for some of that accumulating snow, especially in the afternoon and evening as it gets colder. And then finally, the clouds break a little bit as we get to Thursday. Your forecast tonight, rain showers, as I mentioned, some snow could mix in up north or transition to snow. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me, overnight low temperature at about 35 degrees. And then tomorrow, rain over to snow through the day, one to three inches north of I-70. It looks like an inch or less south of I-70 and getting breezy in the afternoon. 37 at 10 o'clock with 38 at noon and then dropping back to the low 30s there by 6 o'clock. 23 Thursday morning, high 30, slight chance of some morning flurries, slight chance of snow Friday, low 20, high 30. And then look at the low temperature Saturday down to 18 and a high of 33. It's going to be a cold leap day, partly sunny skies, but March 1 coming in with mostly sunny skies, cold morning at 20, then 42, but by Tuesday up near 60, even some spring-like thunderstorms.